Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel It's your Ebony. All right you guys, let's get into the tea because let's be clear. I already told y'all about this Bia and J. Cole situation. And everybody in the comments has something to say. But guess what? J. Cole and Bia seemingly out together partying. And let me just tell you, this don't look like no friends. Now look y'all, about a couple days ago, I did do a video and I pretty much said it was a sip or spit. Now it was rumored that both Bia and J. Cole were hooking up and hanging out while they were in Montreal. Now, some people felt like, well, she still has a man and he has a wife, etc. Well, it does seem both of them were spotted out at a club. You know, J. Cole was doing his thing, but Bia had that look. Y'all know that look when you with your nigga and you just like, yeah, that's my nigga. Like, you're just trying to act all like unbothered. You know what I'm saying? Letting your nigga do the nigga stuff, right? smiling at his friends right not trying to be too just very hey you know what i mean just hey okay you got a little swag to you you know not really saying much as you want your nigga to think like baby you go ahead and do you that's exactly what bia was doing bia was like hey <laughs> who told y'all who told y'all everybody thought oh my gosh this is a reach no i heard okay and this is just what i heard look so i heard that they actually been kind of feeling each other since the london video allegedly 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 okay and you guys know like in the london video you know it wasn't really anything that would make us think they have a relationship but you don't know what happened behind the scenes and it does seem these two are hanging out and the dating rumors are just not gonna stop you guys will let me know think about it down below and let me know when you with your nigga do you do the hi all right you guys the next topic is none other than a topic that i'm a little bit annoyed about what's that topic well bobby kardashian okay is out here crying and devastated because kim kardashian was out partying with tris bobby kardashian feels that her sister has betrayed her and she is not mad at tristan but wants to know why kim kardashian would have the audacity to hang out at a party where her lover cheetah boy was at and then had the audacity to walk out and be caught by paparazzi. Chow, if Chloe don't go sit her eggshell cell down, let's get into it. Now, sources close to Chloe say that she is devastated, but this time she's blaming her sister, not Tristan. It's humiliating to be sitting at home in LA, taking care of Tristan's kids while her sister and her ex are partying in public. Here's what I'm going to say. You know, Chloe, you're always devastated when it comes to Tristan, but you never hold him accountable. This this man has pretty much played in your face since you've been with him and you know i'm just wondering your sister of all people like devastated knowing that your sister don't want tristan like ain't nobody fault that you at home gotta be with the kids one that's yours and one that's not yours that is your choice and your decision you chose to stay with this man knowing he had a baby on you and then you decided to try to play house and be the stepmom and hi hey, you know just be hi hey. that's your fault that you're at home miserable and can't go out and that's really no shade i'm just telling the truth like to be mad of your sister like girl like i don't know i just feel like at this point in time chloe you know you know at this point that you're never gonna leave tristan so why should anybody care how you feel when he's out and about doing what he wants to do um did kim kiss him on the lips like he did jordan woods allegedly so this is just a hot mess you guys you'll let me know what you think about it down below and let me know do you guys have any friends who are constantly blaming their women for their dudes all right you guys final topic you guys is something i want to get into as well and it's none other than sweetie talking about nikki is her dream collab oh ooh, let's, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> what nikki's your dream collab the same Nicki minaj that you tried to hint you gave inspiration to child these girls flip quicker than a hot pancake on a cold day now look you guys this whole thing with sweetie has been very interesting she actually did an interview where she sat down and said that Nicki minaj okay would be one of her dream collabs now fans are feeling this because about a couple days ago right she was doing a interview with the la leakers where she said basically that she loves being an inspiration saying that she inspired both ice spice and Nicki minaj for their barbie world song now she's saying that Nicki is a dream collab like i don't 
don't know, you guys. There's this big debate on Twitter and social media if Nikki should work with some of these girls who say that, you know, she's their biggest inspiration. I don't think so. I think we've learned our lesson when it comes to women who say that Nikki is their dream collab. I mean, you have Lotto coming out to disrespect Nikki. You have Doja Cat, right, who only name drops Nikki when something's coming out or when she wants some support. Never really seen her congratulating any of her accomplishments, right? Throwing little slick lines in her songs. So this is what I will say. I think it's great that Sweetie, you know, wants to collab with Nikki, but I think you have to be very careful what you run around in the media and say. When you run your mouth in the media, you often get caught up and you often miss opportunities because your mouth, and I think in my opinion, Sweetie's mouth does not deserve, <laughs> okay, a feature or anything like that. Plus you're with YG. YG was also disrespecting Nikki. So it's an all around no for me. <laughs> I mean, did you guys hear her new song, Shot O'Clock? <laughs> Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, shot o'clock. <laughs> Girl, what? There is no way that she wrote this song. <laughs> this is not tap in. Tap, tap, tap in. This cannot be tap. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Girl, what? <laughs> What are you even talking about, sis? Where did you go to school? USC? I know USC ain't did this. This supposed to be a million dollar school. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. I love you guys as always. And we'll talk very soon. Bye, guys.